In this video, we're trying to calculate the barycenter of the Sun-Jupiter system. So this is the Sun over here, Jupiter over here. And this actually serves as a practical center of mass for our entire solar system because the Sun has 99.8% of the mass of the solar system in it. And then Jupiter has like 0.1%. And if you put that all together, it's 99.9% .9 of the mass. So if you can find the center of mass or barycenter, of the Sun-Jupiter system, you've got the center of mass of the entire solar system. So in terms of the math and physics here, it's, it's not too complicated. Barycenter is exactly the same thing as one-dimensional center of mass. And so I'm putting the origin in the middle of the Sun. And my X center of mass coordinate is going to be 1 over the total mass times M1X1 plus M2X2. And then it's just a matter of plugging in all these numbers in scientific notation. So total mass, 1.989 times 10 to the 30th kilograms for the sun, plus 1.898 times 10 to the 27th kilograms for Jupiter. And then I'm going to plug in my M1x1 plus M2x2. So I'm referring to the sun as M1 here. Jupiter is M2. And notice that the x-coordinate of the Sun is 0. It's sitting right on the origin just because we defined the origin there. And that means I don't even have to write that term. So I'm just going to write the, the Jupiter term. Um, what that does, by the way, we're not totally ignoring where the Sun is. That just moves the center of mass closer to 0, which is it makes sense because that's where most of the mass is. So M2 is 1.89 8 times 10 to the 27 kilograms and then multiply by x2 and that's the average orbital radius here that's the average distance from the Sun that's 7.60 times 10 to the 11th meters when I crunch all these numbers I get 7.25 times 10 to the 8th meters so if I compare to the radius of the Sun I'm told back here the radius of the sun is 6.963 times 10 to the 8th. We're just outside the surface of the sun, so that's why I showed it qualitatively where it is. One last thing I'd like to point out is that the sun-Jupiter system is going to orbit around that common center of mass, and that means the sun is actually, if I look at the center of the sun, is actually tracing out a circle like this and is wobbling in this circular path as Jupiter moves along in its orbit. That means our sun wobbles once every 11.86 or once every about 12 years.